What up, fam? It's your boy, Big Walt, back in here with another episode of Block Boys University. I assume that you were here because A, you want to test your Ethereum smart contracts on the girly test network, and B, you want to get your hands on some girly testy in order to achieve that objective. Don't worry, you're in the right place. I'll cover everything you need to get you up to speed. Just rock with me. You surely already know this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Before deploying our smart contracts to the Ethereum mainnet, we first want to put them through the paces on a test network to minimize, if not eliminate, the risk of losing money or other assets for ourselves and our users. Luckily, the Ethereum ecosystem provides us multiple testnet options. You got Rinkaby, Robston, etc. However, it was just announced that the Prater Gurley merge was finalized, and now, Gurley is the most recommended testnet for developers targeting proof-of-stake Ethereum 2.0. So let's head on over to Gurley.net. You can see in the header, there are a number of faucets listed there, but we're interested in the social faucet. That's this one right here. No faucet wants a bad actor to drain the account. So they typically require authentication on top of some sort of time delay. This one requires that we use social media to authenticate ourselves. We can use either Facebook or Twitter. I'm going to use Twitter for this demo. So let me go ahead and pop open my Twitter account. All right, head home. And what you have to do is grab your Ethereum wallet address and post that in a tweet. So I'm going to tweet that out. No need to wait. Go ahead and send it now. And then once that's tweeted out, then you grab the URL, copy it and bring that back over to the faucet. Basically what it does is look to see if, if you were able to post that tweet, <clears throat> then it knows that you are who you say you are at least. So I'm gonna ask it to give me 6.25 ethers and it's going to put me on a nine day embargo. That basically means I can't come back and ask for more until nine days later. So now I've got to do the whole capture deal. And I think I got all the crosswalks. Yeah. So click next. It's got me doubling up on the capture now. It's looking for traffic lights. Uh, is there any more traffic lights? That, that's part of it. There's one. I think that's it. It's at the bottom. I Man, you never can tell with these things. Oh, insufficient funds for gas price plus value. So something's going on. Um, and it didn't give me. It didn't give me any. Any girly ETH. There's. There's no, there's no transaction for me getting um, ETH. And actually, I'm not even looking at the right place. Let me switch it up to Gurley because I was looking at the wrong one. Yeah, the last time I received any was on August the 10th. So it's unfortunate, but it's beyond unfortunate. Actually, it's annoying that this faucet often does not work. Fortunately for us, there is an alternative that's much more reliable. It's the faucet hosted by Alchemy. And you can read this article. I'll share the link in the description, along with the links to the other resources uh, in the description. Uh, but they talk about their faucet. So I'll go ahead and jump right in and show you guys how to use the Alchemy faucet. So they have one that is specifically for Gurley. You can see up here, I've got Gurley selected. And you'll notice that in order to use this faucet, you actually have to be logged in. And you can see that I'm logged in as Big Walt. You can create a free account, no worries. So what they want you to do is take your Ethereum wallet address, which 
Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Let me go back to MetaMask and get my Ethereum wallet address. All right, there it is. So you type in your wallet address and you select send me ETH and it's basically going to give you a uh, 0.5 girly ETH when you make the request. So I'll make the request right now and it looks like it was successful. So that's that's what it is. Let me go ahead and kill this for a second. You can see the transaction was processed. It's going to give me a 24 hour embargo. So I can't come back in here asking for more girly ETH until tomorrow at the same time. Uh, if we go look in my wallet, you can see that I now have 1.24 girly ETH. And before that, I had less than one girly ETH. So the request was honored. Um, if you have the patience, you can come back every day and collect 0.5 ETH until you have enough for your testing needs. So that's it fam, it's too easy. Now you have two alternatives to come up on free girly ETH. Until next time, holla.